in this video i will show you the example of telegans theorem verify the telegans theorem for the following circuit see this is our circuit structure and for the circuit structure i have to verify the telegans theorem at first you have to know what is telegans theorem telegans theorem states that if we have n elements in a circuit and the instantaneous voltage across that elements are v1 v2 up to vn and they will satisfy the kvl and and the instantaneous currents through that elements are i1 i2 up to i n and they are satisfying the kirchhoff's current law then we can write that the algebraic sum of the instantaneous power at any instant in the circuit will be equal to zero from which we can deduce another conclusion that the sum of supplied power will be equal to the sum of absorbed power if i can show that that sum of the total powers will be equal to zero or applied power or the supplied power equal to the absorbed power then i can say that my telegans theorem will be verified to calculate the power in a dc circuit we normally use these formulas p equal to i square r p equal to v i or p equal to v square divided by r see all these quantities are associated with current voltage or resistor that means in the circuit i have to calculate the voltage and currents and we are given the values of resistor so to calculate the currents through each of the element i will apply mesh analysis in the circuit so let's say this is our mesh one so i will assign mesh current to one i1 and this is our mesh number two therefore i will assign mesh current to in this slope this terminal of this 5 ohm will be positive this will be negative this terminal will be positive this side will be negative this side will be positive this side will be negative this side will be positive and this side will be negative now i will apply kvl to each and every loop uh, let's say i am applying kvl to loop or mesh one from this point to this point i will encounter this 10 volt source its negative terminal first positive terminal later so its voltage will be plus 10 in case of this 5 ohm i will encounter the positive terminal first negative terminal later therefore its voltage will be minus 5 i1 from this terminal to this terminal i will encounter this 7 ohm resistor and its positive terminal first and negative terminal later therefore its voltage will be minus 7 i1 minus i2 as i1 and i2 are flowing in opposite direction i will assume i1 is greater than i2 and i will be in loop number one so if i simplify this equation i will get minus 12 i1 plus 7 i2 equal to minus 10 this will be our equation number one after that i will apply kvl in mesh 2 from this point to this point i will encounter this 7 ohm resistor and its positive terminal first negative terminal later therefore its voltage will be minus 7 i2 minus i1 from this point to this point i will encounter this 20 ohm resistor its positive terminal first negative terminal later therefore its voltage will be minus 23 i2 from this point to this point i will encounter this 12 volt source and its negative terminal first positive terminal later so its voltage will be plus 12 equal to 0 if i simplify this equation i can write it like this 7 i1 minus 30 i2 will be equal to minus 12 this will be our equation number 2 if i solve the equation 1 and 2 i will get i1 and i2 now if i solve our equation number 1 and equation number two i will get our loop current one or mesh current one i1 equal to 1.234 ampere and loop current to i2 will be equal to 0 
ampere now see what will be the current through this 7 ohm see i1 is flowing in this direction and i2 is flowing in this direction so our i through 7 ohm will be equal to i1 minus i2 i1 minus i2 will be equal to 0 0.546 ampere now see the current through this 5 ohm resistor will be i1 the current through this 23 ohm resistor will be i2 the current supplied by this 12 volt source will be i2 the current supplied by this by 10 volt source will be i1 now i will calculate power drop across 5 ohm resistor to calculate that i will take i1 square into the value of that resistor here i1 square is equal to 1.234 square into 5 which will be equal to 7.61 watt power drop across 7 ohm resistor will be equal to i through 7 ohm square into that value of resistor which will be equal to 0 0.546 square into 7 which will be equal to 2.09 watt power drop across 23 ohm resistor will be equal to i2 square r which will be equal to 0 0.688 square into 23 this will give us a value of 10.89 watt now see the power supplied by the 10 volt source p supplied by 10 volt will be equal to p into i 1 10 into 1.234 which will be equal to 12.34 watt power supplied by 12 volt source will be equal to V into I2 here V, v is equal to 12 and I2 is equal to 0 0.688 which will be equal to 8.2 five six watt now if I calculate the total power supplied in the network will be equal to power supplied by 10 volt source plus power supplied by 12 volt source 10 volt plus 12 volt will be equal to power supplied by 10 volt source is equal to 12.34 power supplied by 12 volt is equal to 8.256 which will give us a value of 20.59 watt after calculating power supply I will calculate power absorbed total power absorbed will be equal to power absorbed by 5 ohm resistor plus po power absorbed by 7 ohm resistor plus power absorbed by 23 ohm resistor and they will be equal to 7.61 plus 2.09 plus 10.89 which will be equal to 20.59 watt this implies that summation of power supplied will be equal to summation of power absorbed so I can say that the second statement of telegance theorem is verified now while calculating the sum of instantaneous power I will consider the absorbed power as a negative quantity okay and the supplied power as a positive quantity so if I write it like this summation of instantaneous power in a circuit is equal to 0 supplied power will be due to 10 volt source and due to 12 volt source 
and absorb power will be due to 5 ohm resistor due to 7 ohm resistor and due to 23 ohm resistor their sum should be equal to 0 c power supplied by 10 volt source will be equal to 12.34 power supplied by 12 volt source will be 8.256 watt power absorbed by 5 ohm resistor will be 7.61 power absorbed by 7 ohm resistor will be 2.09 power absorbed by 23 ohm resistor will be 10.89 watt and if you perform necessary calculation you will see our left side will be equal to 0 which will be equal to right side summation of instantaneous power at any instant in the circuit is equal to 0 so I can say that Telegram's theorem is verified that's it thank you